Space tourism is no longer a distant dream. It's becoming a reality, and deep blue aerospace is at the forefront of this new era. The Chinese company just sold its first tickets for a suborbital journey, aiming to take tourists to the edge of space by 2027. With an ambitious plan and advanced reusable rocket technology, they're not only challenging Western giants like Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic, but also pushing the boundaries of space travel. So what makes Deep Blue's mission so unique? And how could it reshape the future of space tourism? Let's dive into the details that could change how we see space forever. Deep Blue Aerospace has set its sights on a groundbreaking goal making space tourism a reality for those with the means to explore the final frontier. Their journey toward this ambitious goal hinges on the Nebula One rocket, a reusable vehicle currently undergoing rigorous testing. In recent news, Deep Blue Aerospace announced that they aim to start suborbital flights as early as 2027, but the path to this target is filled with challenges and milestones. In September, the company faced a significant hurdle when their Nebula One rocket encountered a failure during a vertical takeoff and landing test. The vehicle crashed during its final recovery phase, highlighting the inherent risks of rocket development. Yet, such setbacks are not uncommon in the aerospace industry. SpaceX, Blue Origin, and others have faced similar obstacles. Deep Blue Aerospace has taken this in stride, with plans for more extensive testing in 2025 to refine their systems. These tests are crucial, ensuring the safety and reliability of suborbital flights. The company's vision extends beyond just overcoming technical challenges. It's about creating an experience. Their planned flights will take passengers to an altitude of up to 150 kilometers, offering six minutes of microgravity where passengers can float freely, unrestrained by gravity. The spacecraft, designed to accommodate six people, promises panoramic views of Earth through large windows, delivering an experience that's as visually stunning as it is thrilling. What sets Deep Blue Aerospace apart is its focus on reusability. By using a single-stage reusable rocket and a crewed spacecraft, they aim to reduce costs and make space tourism more sustainable. This approach mirrors the designs of Western counterparts like Blue Origin's New Shepard, but brings a unique perspective to the competitive landscape. As they push forward with their ambitious schedule, Deep Blue Aerospace is determined to become a leading player in the global space tourism industry, providing a new avenue for adventure and exploration. China's emergence as a key player in space exploration is reshaping the global landscape, and Deep Blue Aerospace is a prime example of this shift. Unlike the state-backed Shenzhou missions, which focus on scientific research and building the Tiangong space station, Deep Blue Aerospace represents the new wave of private Chinese companies aiming to commercialize space. Their entry into the space tourism market highlights a broader trend, the rise of Chinese commercial space ventures looking to challenge the dominance of Western firms. The global space tourism market has been heating up with companies like Blue Origin, Virgin Galactic, and SpaceX pioneering this new industry. Deep Blue Aerospace is keenly aware of this competition. During their recent live stream, company founder Huo Liang emphasized the unique aspects of their offering from the thrill of unbuckling in microgravity to the breathtaking views of Earth. The event drew millions of viewers on platforms like Taobao, reflecting a strong public interest in space travel, even among those who may not yet be able to afford a ticket. What's driving this interest is a desire to bring space closer to ordinary people, well, ordinary people with a bit of extra cash, that is. With tickets priced at about 1.5 million yuan, $210,000, Deep Blue's offering is far from affordable for the average person, yet it is significantly lower than some Western competitors. By pricing their tickets competitively, Deep Blue Aerospace is making a clear statement they want to make space tourism accessible to a new audience, especially in the Chinese market. This is where China's broader space ambitions come into play. The country has invested heavily in building out its space capabilities from satellite constellations to lunar missions. By fostering private companies like Deep Blue Aerospace, China is creating a robust ecosystem for space innovation. The success of these ventures could boost China's stature in the global space race, offering new opportunities for technological advancements and economic growth. 
the competitive pricing and local interest also position Deep Blue Aerospace as a potential leader in the Asian space tourism market, setting the stage for a new era of exploration. While Deep Blue Aerospace's plans are ambitious, the road to making space tourism a reality is fraught with challenges. Developing a reusable rocket that can safely carry passengers is no small feat. Even though Deep Blue Aerospace has made strides with their Nebula One rocket, the recent test failure serves as a stark reminder of the complexities involved. Rockets are inherently risky, and ensuring the safety of passengers is paramount, especially when aiming for commercial space travel. One of the biggest hurdles they face is perfecting the vertical takeoff and landing VTVL technology, which allows the rocket to be reused multiple times. This technology is crucial for reducing the cost of each flight, making space tourism more economically viable. Deep Blue Aerospace's goal is to achieve a fully operational reusable system by 2025, but with each test, they must demonstrate reliability, especially after the crash in September. The upcoming tests are critical. These will not only improve the technical aspects of their spacecraft, but also build public trust in the safety of their flights. Beyond the technical challenges, there are regulatory and competitive pressures. Space tourism is a highly regulated industry with strict standards for safety and environmental impact. Deep Blue Aerospace must navigate these regulations, both within China and internationally, to ensure they meet all requirements for suborbital flights. This is a space where they can't afford to cut corners ensuring that passengers feel safe and secure is as important as providing an unforgettable experience. Yet these challenges also offer opportunities. As Deep Blue Aerospace pushes the boundaries of reusable space travel, they are contributing valuable data and expertise to China's broader space efforts. Their advances in VTVL and reusable rockets could have implications beyond tourism, potentially aiding China's efforts in satellite deployment and space station resupply missions. The company's ability to learn from setbacks and adapt to the complexities of spaceflight will be key to its success. If they succeed, they won't just be taking tourists to space, they'll be reshaping the future of space travel itself. Deep Blue Aerospace's push into space tourism represents more than just a thrilling adventure for a few lucky passengers. It's a bold move in the evolving landscape of space exploration. By aiming for a 2027 launch date, the company is positioning itself as a pioneer in China's burgeoning commercial space industry, taking on global giants like Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic. The journey is not without challenges, from mastering reusable rocket technology to ensuring passenger safety through rigorous testing. Yet the promise of an unforgettable journey to the edge of space is one that has captured the imaginations of millions. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. See you next time.